I can remember the days I met you at Bomas of Kenya. And when I told you about a case, and the people for whom we wanted to file a case in England, you exactly told me that you know about the Mau Mau. They are not in a position of, of uh, putting the case to the court of England. And you agreed to take up our case from the start to the end. So we are wishing you every success in whatever you are doing and whatever you are planning to do in future. One thing I remember really about you and one thing I will always uh, take home with me is the way you simplified and demystified the judiciary. It was always very easy to identify with you. You were always this CJ who would don a, ra a rucksack on your back. And for a long time, we never thought that, uh, I mean, a suit would go with a rucksack until we saw the CJ of Kenya donning one. So um, for me, it's really how you, you demystified the whole judiciary system. Uh, as you move on to your other endeavors, I wish you the very best. I wish you God's blessings and keep on uh, being that simple guy. One thing I can uh, remember with Ulu Mtunga, who we have interacted with him from 2002, is that he has a leadership quality of unifying different talents. And that we saw it in the judiciary when he went there. Uh, in uh, formative stages, he's, he managed to bring together different talent that has helped to, to transform uh, uh, judiciary and that's when they came up with a document of judicial transformation framework. Uh, that's very very important that I can remember and he helped to domesticate judiciary. Dr. Willie, um, I'll remember you um, during your tenure as a Chief Justice for the impact that you made in the criminal justice system, which is a, an area that is passionate to me and uh, passionate to Legal Resources Foundation, because for a long time we have championed uh, reforms uh, on penal reforms, judicial reforms, and the security sector reforms. Alternative dispute resolution mechanisms really, um, again, at the heart of the work that I do as, and as LRF, and I thank you for having a purpose and a resolve to take justice closer to the poor, closer to the people, and embracing within the community of the judiciary that access to justice does matter for the poor and the indigent of our society. Dear Ndugu Willie, I say congratulations for a job well done as the Chief Justice. My best wishes on your new chapter in life if you break down the word retire, it seems like it should be about getting tired for the second time. Well, think about getting ready to tie yourself out with social justice activism, the passion of your life. Willie, I hope you are, good, you are doing well since you, uh, you left the judiciary. I'm happy to have known you for so many years. Since I was introduced to you by Dr. Matunda Nyanchama when you were at the Ford Foundation, it has been a pleasure. And uh, your time in the judiciary was a, was, a was a breath of fresh air. You opened windows onto the system. You demystified the judiciary and made it accessible to ordinary people. And to me, that's the most important achievement because institutions exist to serve people. And since you opened up the judiciary to the street, to the common man, it has been a pleasure. No longer are judges considered a, a low, perceived as uh, capricious gods on Mount Olympus. They are perceived as uh, ordinary human beings who have got feelings, who can be approached, who can, who can listen to people's challenges, and who can make you fair and uh, balanced judgments according to the law. And so I thank you for what you have done. I pray that uh, God continues blessing you as you declare his kingdom on earth through your civic actions, wherever you will be, may your doors be wide open. When I came to defend you, when you were, when you were starting to be the chief justice, and uh, people were accusing you of being a gay, and uh, I came out, and uh, I am glad that you became the chief justice, 
And even when we were the Chief Justice William Mutunga, the most amazing thing was that the fact that you never forgot those people you know. I remember bringing the mothers of the political prisoners to your office and you laughing loudly with them and happy. And even when they called you to say that you had a meeting, uh, you said uh, you had a more important meeting with the women and uh, you stayed with them. Willie Mutunga, you are my mentor. One thing I admire about you is the fact that power never gets into your head. Money never gets into your head. I do remember uh, one incident uh, when I was uh, in charge of uh, the constitutional review process at uh, the Kenya Human Rights Commission and uh, you were our director. And I do remember, you know, um, forcing you into this uh, KHRC vehicle and we headed off uh, to this meeting being chaired by uh, Reverend Mutama Musimi on the constitution. And you're not willing to go and you kept on telling me you've had enough, but you still gave me a chance to take you to that meeting. Uh, although, um, you know, you had uh, more experience than me, you were my senior, but you're still willing to accompany me to that meeting. And I learned a lot uh, from that uh, particular uh, incident that you are willing to be led as well. Even by, uh, you know, uh, some of us who were quite naive by then uh, in terms of experience, uh, were quite uh, idealistic. Number two, uh, I still do remember the vision uh, uh, 2010, the KHRC 10-year strategic plan. Uh, that was very inspiring and uh, please be assured that uh, the lessons I learned from you, I keep them and they keep on inspiring me. Hi Willie, um, so I've been asked to speak about when we first met and what you have contributed to my life. Um, you were leading the constitutional or one of the leaders of the constitutional change movement when I came back to Kenya at the age of 23. I think you opened up that space to all of the young sort of people wanting to become engaged, wanting to learn um, about our history and also where we were going. Um, and I think I realized at some point, maybe when you were at Ford, that suddenly you were no longer the leadership we were, which was a bit alarming, um, but you provided support, encouragement and so on. And I think you've always provided a strong example. You know how upset I was at the fate of the civil society presidential petition. Um, but I think um, despite that, um, I think what you've tried to do with the judiciary is clear. I hope you feel that you're leaving with a legacy. Um, that we're grateful for and worried that it won't continue in your absence. It's a very rare thing to find in this day and age someone who dedicates the entirety of their working life to public service. Charles Houston once described and encouraged lawyers to be social engineers, to work to solve the problems of their society and to improve the lives of the underprivileged. You have been a living testament to that philosophy. Congratulations, and my hope is that your time as a social engineer is far from done, and that we shall only benefit further from interacting with you. Willie, I have known you for so many years, since my childhood, because we happen to come from the same area in Kitui. And when we were growing up, we used to see you as uh, the inspiration to pursue our academic and our political dreams because you happen to be the first person from the area to go to university. You also inspired me to join the human rights sector after my university life. And uh, since that time, you have been very supportive of the work of the civil society. So we are very much proud of you in all the work you have been, you have, you have, you have been doing. And uh, when we also went together to Kitui for an event two weeks ago where you are launching the, the water project, the people from the village were also very proud of how you have remained connected to them and also how you have remained responsive to their social needs. We thank you and also we congratulate you for all the support you have been given to the people of Kenya. Hello Willie, we're really going to miss you. I'm proud of you for having taken on the challenge of being our first Chief Justice under the new constitution. I can't think of anyone who would have been better placed to do that job. Um, I thank you for the partnership that you offered us during my tenure at the KHRC, particularly the work that we did with the National Council on, on, on the Administration of Justice. 
and the work that we did with the Judicial Training Institute, which offered us an opportunity to work quite closely with the judiciary. I hope that the reform that you undertook and the work that you, that you put in place, that your successor will actually build on it. I wish you all the best and um, I hope that the people that you're going to be working for now actually appreciate what a gem we the Kenyan people have given them. Willie, I don't know whether you remember when we first met, uh, but we met when I used to volunteer at the Kituo Cha Sharia as a translator uh, for uh, workers' rights. And one of the things that you taught me was to stay very committed to uh, the rights of workers, the rights of those people who are excluded from mainstream, and so on. And we did a lot of work at, uh, at that time. Uh, and then the other thing that you actually did for me, and I don't think you remember this, was actually you wrote the first affidavit for me, um, I think about 35 years ago, um, when I needed to show the world that I was married and you did the affidavit for me. This level of um, support to a young Kenyan uh, was very, very important to me. I still remember that vividly. And I just want to tell you three things that um, I admire immensely in you. The first one is your own humility. Uh, you are very self-effacing. You do not blow your trumpet. You do things because you truly, truly care. Um, and leave you know, people to judge you afterwards. Um, the other thing I really admire about you is your commitment to justice. You've been very consistent uh, in this struggle. And then finally, I truly admire your humanity and your humanism, the fact that you truly care about other people. So, you know, really wishing you all the best in your new uh, position. You've been fantastic and you'll always be uh, a mentor for many of us. At an uh, institutional level, when we started out the National Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Commission, I remember 2013, I met Mutunga at this conference at, uh, in Nairobi. And he spoke, because he was asked about LGBT rights in Kenya, he spoke specifically about what we were doing. And he, he said that he wanted to extol and uh, praise what we were doing. And indirectly, that was very, very validating because you were starting at a context where the government was refusing to register us. But generally, as a lawyer, he, and as a person who has worked in civil society, is a living proof that anything is possible if you're passionate and you stick true to the cause of equality. So thank you for the service and all the best in your endeavors in helping the world become a better place. And thank you very much. I honor you as a warrior of light. Before Galileo, Willy, the world used to think that it has three pillars. But after that, they learned that uh, they had, uh, it had no pillars. The pillars were itself. It had gravity within itself, and, and they corresponded and it related with the sun. Now, you are also a man with his own pillars. Pillars of integrity, and, uh, but supported by your own sovereignty your own freedom and your own justice. I have met previous chief justices, but they lacked sovereignty, so they were beholden by the state. They lacked uh, uh, justice, because you cannot practice justice unless you are sovereign. And they lacked freedom, because they were beholden by the state. So you were never beholden. And therefore, I would say that you have laid the foundations for the future of the office that you held. Hi Willie, many years have come and gone and so much has passed between us, within our country and across the globe. And I know wherever you go for the rest of your life, other people will be depending on you and I know you'll be available for them as you have been available for me. I want to wish you the best and I want to thank you for the selflessness you have given us in this country as a people, as a country, and personally. Uh, Dr. William Tunga, thank you very much for teaching me patience. Uh, when I met you, I was very frustrated about change not coming very fast as an activist and uh, the hard work that you do and realizing that you're not getting any results. And you told me that change is not an event and it doesn't happen in one day. It's, it's a marathon and it's a, 
it's a battle of a lifetime. So thank you for teaching me that. As a little for not selling out, you have proven to us that it is possible for you to for someone to work in the system and come out without being corrupt. So thank you so much and enjoy your retirement and have fun and see the streets. I hope that you're going to go and protest together. Thank you, Willie. Welcome on board the activism world. And I hope your sharing lessons are going on very well. Keep sharing, keep rapping, keep doing you. Dr. Will Mutunga, I don't know what to say about you. You've been a great inspiration. You've been a true friend. You've been an original. It's been great working and working with you since my childhood in, uh, in Korogosho. We saw you come down to Korogosho to provide free legal services. I saw you come to Korogosho to work and work with us, to partner with us in our, in our, in, in our struggle. And in your time to exit from uh, the Chief Justice's office came, you also came back to Korogosho to thank the people of Korogosho and to let them know that you'll continue to remain to be their, their friend. Uh, I'm even more excited that you're now learning Sheng. It means that you're going to, to be part of even the younger generation, a younger generation that you've continued to influence and shape over the years. Indeed, you've shaped uh, the way we look at our world and the way we look at the world. I hope we continue in this journey together. Thank you and God bless you.